$1,000 will be awarded to a student studying in English thanks to a sponsorship from MNP. Another bursary of $1,000 will be awarded to a student studying in French thanks to a sponsorship from Desjardins. So uh, the First Nations Education School Council was actually born in Ganawagi in 2012. Uh, it's a baby of the First Nations Human Resources Development Council, uh, Commission, excuse me, that lives in this building on the second floor of the Dewa building. And that's where uh, what we call HQ is also situated, our headquarters. And the First Nations Adult Education School Council, located in Ganawagi, supports the, the uh, Adult Education Center in Ganawagi, as well as all the other adult centers mentioned in the speech, so Garasadake, uh, Montreal, Montreal, Lexmo. Uh, in addition to that, this year is a very special year. It is the year of Indigenous languages, and so we wanted to, you know, it was the first time we ever launched bursaries like this, so we were, really wanted to integrate the important element of language. Uh, I don't know if you're aware, but the center that's here located in Ganasadake on, on Mohawk Trail, they offer Ganyakeha four credits, uh, and so students can learn their language while earning their high school diploma, and that's something we wanted to highlight in the bursaries as well. One of the criteria, the main criteria, is actually for the students to answer an essay question on how they engage with their own language, whether it's speaking it, learning it, listening to it, uh, advocating for it, whatever it is. We'll see what the essays or the video essays come back to us. Actually, because it's our first year and it's new for everybody, we wanted to give ourselves enough time to get the word out, so we're actually only putting the deadline at August. 14. So we're hoping to get several applicants to choose uh, the, those that are the most engaged with their language.